What's up, fellow gamers? It's Sublime Gamer here, and boy, am I glad to be with you guys to be able to play this awesome game from Nintendo that's on mobile devices, iPhone, Android, uh, whatever you got, a potato. It's Dr. Mario World. A little bit about the game. Uh, Dr. Mario World is a game for the character Dr. Mario, who is famous from the Super Smash Brothers series, so they finally give him his own game, and it's you know, I'm I am so excited to be begin this with you guys. You know, not gonna lie, I uh, I played a little bit before this just to get my skills and game mechanic knowledge up and all that. But I'm gonna do a new one from the beginning here. You're gonna want to hit accept for all this stuff. Trust me, you don't even need to read it. And uh, here we go, Doctor Mario World. Beautiful HD graphics, Nintendo, co-developed by Line and some other smartphone thing. Oh no, viruses have invaded everywhere. Both the Toads and Bowser's minions have been sent to a panic. Hunt down all the viruses and save everyone. So that's like the story for this game. It's actually pretty deep and nuanced if you get into it. I'm just going to kind of skip over the story bits that come up. And Toad's going to tell us some stuff, and it's okay. We'll play the game. It'll give us some tutorial-type stuff. You need to use a capsule. All right, Toad, give us a faster demo. We know how to play. I'll show you guys how to play. You don't need to worry about Toad's demo. But he's going to show it to us anyway. Alright. Easy as that. The first level, super simple. All you have to do is just hit that fast forward button if you're going for the speed run. Which, I might be doing a little bit of a speed run here. You never know. And so the game kind of eases you. How's the volume? Is that good? Kind of eases you into the mechanics a little bit. Hmm. I don't know. The, the first couple levels, not a big deal. You can probably three star them pretty easily. If you see the top there, top left, it shows you the star number, and it's based off of like how many capsules you have left and efficiency and stuff like that. So. Hey, if you guys want to get those three stars, it's mostly just a flexing sort of thing, and I, you know, it might give you more more coins too, which are basically useless as far as I remember. But who knows? Maybe we'll be used for them eventually. Ready? Go. Yeah, so you can tap with your finger once the capsule's out to rotate it. Um, and it just kind of cycles through left to right. But the neat thing is you can hold on to the capsule with your finger and drag it to go faster so you don't have to wait for them to float. Although you can leave them to just float and do their thing. Oops. I will say the controls are pretty good. Pretty intuitive. Um, about as good as you can get on a a phone, I would say. You know, I'm not a big fan of mobile games control method-wise because it's just not as precise as using actual button controls. And maybe a little bit partially just due to the fact that I've, you know, grown up a console handheld gamer and phones have not really had any good games for a long time. But if it's a Nintendo game, you can rest assured it's pretty good, so... And I like this game. It's a fun little puzzle game. I'd recommend it to anyone who has a phone and wants to see Dr. Mario in something other than Super Smash Bros.
Yes, when you... Clear a line, the extra portion of the capsule that wasn't used floats off. And you can use it to clear other lines and viruses and whatnot. It's a good technique to use. Um, you saw me use it there, but I was a little, uh, I didn't feel like explaining it at that point in time because my dad's upstairs calling for me. Real gamers hours down here. In the gamer dungeon, of course, as always. Sublime gamer. Ready? Go! Stay cool. Stay cool, gamers. And so I'll probably just give you guys a little rundown of the first world. Well, not the f full first world. They actually break down... I think right now there's something like six worlds, maybe seven. And they break them down in stages. So there's like stage one, world one, and stage two of world one. I, I think... I haven't played too far, but what I'm assuming is stage one kind of introduces mechanics to you. And then stage two builds on them, makes them harder, something like that. I don't know, it's Mario. Okay, so see here, I cleared one line with the yellow, and then the remaining part of the capsule broke off. Clear the blue line. Is that something you're going to have to use in this game a lot? Um, once you get a little bit farther into it. Back up to three star, baby, that's how we do. Real gamers. Real gamers only, you know it. Man, fellow subscribers, we are just cruising along through this first world here. I guess now's a good time to mention, um, if you're watching this video, if you like Sublime Gamer, you should probably, uh, leave me a comment. Let me know. I, I read them all. I love them all. Well... Not necessarily love all the comments, but I just love the idea of you guys commenting. You know, we're a community of gamers, gaming, loving games, talking about games together. I would love if you guys drop a comment. Let me know you're here. Tell me uh, what brought you to the channel. And uh, if you have any suggestions for new content or videos you'd like or ways to, to grow the channel, you know, let them know. Or let me know in the comments. I'm all ears. Well, eyes, I guess, since I'll be reading them. Right, so a new mechanic is introduced in this level, so it's about doing the shells. And essentially, you just you just match the color just like normal. And once you do, the shell kind of fires off and goes and clears the horizontal line, essentially. Pretty easy, nothing crazy here. Just a match three puzzler with a twist. A distinctly Nintendo twist. Which more games could use. Oh, I can use items now. I'm not gonna use them. I only get one free one. I'm not wasting my coins on items. Heck, you think I'm gonna use that toad? No way. If you played RPGs, you know. You gotta save the items until the end. And then don't even use them at the end either. Alright. Oh. There we go. Move that over. Oh, set broke it. And I can slide that little piece over. The red's just gonna sit in the corner being kind of useless. I don't think we lose points for having useless, like, halves of capsules lying around, but you might. I skip over all the story and, and dialogue elements for the most part, so I wouldn't know even if they told me. And that's how true gamers should do it. I mean, most of gaming has to do with just your gut. Just go with your instinct, play it, tap, tap, tap away. If you're playing a real system, you can, you know, butt mesh away. So you'll have to ask, uh, if you ever hang out with Milky, you'll have to ask him. He's got a really good, uh, thumb workout for butt mesh, and you'll have to ask him. 
Maybe I'll show you on the channel sometime, if you're lucky. Ah, oh my. Okay. So, try to match the uh, blue ones here, and then the yellow one will fall. And we'll beat that. Move the red out of the way so it doesn't mess up the yellow coming through. And there you are. Now, man, I make this look pretty easy, but I'll be honest, it's actually pretty easy. The, the first uh, 20 levels are kind of a breeze. I got, I three-starred all of them on my first playthrough, except for the last one. And I might have had a game in there, that's why. Hey, so this is cool. So once you clear half of the stage or so or whatever, um, it kind of shows you that they fixed up the area, all the toes moving back in, and it's, it's a neat little little addition. Because you're not just you're not just busting viruses just for the sake of it. You're doing it for the good of the community. You should make the world a better place, and that's that's what game is all about. I clicked yes. I have no idea what I clicked yes for. Oh, I entered my nickname. Okay, here we go. I can do that. What's it gonna be? It'll be blind. Nope, not blind. Blind. Cause I'm sublime. You know, when I was deciding my channel name, it was really between it was between normal gamer and sublime gamer. It was an easy choice. Alright. Something about get those sports drinks. Gamers love sports and sport drinks. Alright, I hit Mario. Oh, he has a little super power up move or something. Oh, uh, you can kind of hack the blocks. That's actually something we need to use later, too. Um, you can kind of gl glitch the, uh, the, whatever, the pills, the blocks through the brown blocks if you if you have enough gumption I guess I don't know something like that oh I'm trying to go next but my little you know when you record you have your little bubble somewhere well it was down there and I couldn't click next don't worry, I moved it. I'll figure it out. Oh. Noticias. Characters. New world. Pocket camp. Special cage. Where's the X? A lot of cool stuff going on in this game. <laughs> but true gamers just want to play the game. Don't tell me about the game. Just let me play. Ready? Go! It's like a... Uh, a shooting guard in, in the NBA. It's like, coach, I just want to shoot. Don't tell me about it. Just, just let me shoot. So if I put it sideways here, I can use the extra little guy to... Well, little tip trick there. Red come down. I just put that there for now. Team blue. Oof. Got him. So you don't have to be as speedy as me. I don't. I don't think the game really rewards you on speed. But you will see that later on in the game, there's some time trial esque levels that you might get some for if you're fast. If you're an intrepid enough gamer for it, whatever that means. Uh, I think I'll just do that. Oh, oops. That was a gamer moment. Why didn't you tell me that wasn't a good move? Uh, I'll figure it out. Mm 
Bummer. Do it like that. Clear those out there. Clear those out there. Get the yellow squad moving. Now we just need red. That's good enough. There's only five capsules left this time. Uh, not my proudest work, but let's see if it's enough to net me three stars. And of course, nothing but the best for Sublime. Hey, I think I always already mentioned this, but be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, especially if you made this far in the video. I'm not sure how long it is at this point, but if you're still watching this, chances are you like the content or are just too lazy to click onto another video in the recommended. So why don't you just reward me a little bit, give me a like, uh, you know, hit that notification bell, and please subscribe. Subscribe your mom's account, subscribe your dog's account, whatever. Um, a little bit helps. To be honest, every little bit helps. And tell your friends about Sublime Gamer 2. Oh, got it. <laughs> that was awesome. Slide this over here. Blue time. It's a real blue game of time here. Oh. Bam. Slide this through. We got it. I guess I should have mentioned at the beginning of the video, but this... This video contains spoilers. You're, you're basically seeing the trick to the whole level. Um, you're seeing the spoilers. You're seeing how every level plays out, so... But if you haven't figured it out by now... Then you have bigger problems than getting this game spoiled for you. Doop a doop. Ready? Go! So you'll notice that in this level, there are bombs. Which are pretty cool. Except. I mean, yeah, they're cool. They're not amazing, but. It's alright. Got the max points on that one, I think. There's Dr. Mario, so happy. So happy he finally has his own game, just aside from beating up people and Super Smash Brothers. He's a pretty good character in Smash Bros. though. What do you guys think? What tier of character do you think he is, Mario? I put him probably somewhere in the B tier. You know, way, way behind Rosalina, who is the by far the best, most broken character in the game. And consequently, I only play Rosalina. By the way, we're thinking of doing a Smash tournament on the channel. I think we're going to start off with some N64 action just because it's more... Eh, I won't tell you the reason. It's a secret. Milky will tell you why we're doing N64 first. Just ask him. But we're going to do that and then... Depend on who wins. Whoever wins gets to determine what the next Smash game is that we'll do. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, look forward to that. Further details will be forthcoming. Music they put in this game. Dude, I hope. Uh, well, oh, it shows me there's only six left. I was gonna say, like, I hope this is getting near the end here. I don't quite have it in me to kill all these little red guys and find them in the, in the hidey holes. Oh. I have to build all the way up to that guy. Oh. Actually, it's tough. Oh, 
How am I gonna get that guy? Wow, did I actually just break this level? Because they're only giving me red capsules. Oh, no, 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 I know what to do. So if I do some here, it'll burst the perfect. Oof, a uh, brain gamer brain freeze there for a minute. Look, I unlocked achievement. Google Play. My favorite platform for gaming. Just kidding. It's not, but ain't bad either. I mean, I don't know. I'd send a bit of Google Play Cam if I had to. I can't wait till we. Oh, what's this? 32 viruses. Don't mind if I do. Ready? Go! Dr. Mario. On the case. Prepare to get healed. Or forcibly fed medicine or whatever I'm doing. Ah, I'm Dr. Morrow. Oh, there's a blue one. Yeah. Hey. There's a blue fella. Oh, come on. That was cheesy. Yes! Alright, I apologize guys, this video is dragging just a little bit, but we're just gonna do the first 20 stages of the first half of World 1, and we're almost there. Two more stages to go. Thank you for sticking with me all this time. Again, you should download this uh, game if you have a phone. If you don't have a phone, then you should make your friend download it so you can watch him play it. And more importantly, you should get them to subscribe to Sublime Gaming so that they can know all the tip tricks on how to beat all the levels and look like they've been gaming for their whole life. When in actuality, they hardly even know what a video game is. Zoom. Zoom. I hope you guys can hear the sound. This is one of the first couple times I've been recording straight from my phone, and I... I mean, I can hear the sound fine, but I don't know how it, this Google Play games device, whatever, records it, so. Alright. Let's give it a shot. This is the last one. And on my first playthrough, I did not get three stars, so let's see if we can get three stars this time. Okay. I can use the skill filler. That's awesome. That was a great toad. Thank you. Thank you so much. A lot of action going on, a lot of eye candy. I think the move is just to blow up some more stuff. That seems to be powerful. Let's do that there. Oh! I just found out you can rotate them while they're before they're even deployed. That's really cool. Blow some more stuff up. Oh, yes. I was able to slide all the way across there. Oh, it didn't. Alright, that was a bit of a noof. Bit of a goof, but you know, now we can blow stuff up. Do whatever. Get one red row there. Get the yellow boys. That, slide this over. Get some more yellow boys. Use the Mario. Oh, 
It's a mistake. Yeah, so your doctor, which I'm using Dr. Mario, of course, the only doctor, has a special skill when he fills up that little red uh, gauge around him. Mario's skill happens to be he, he, he'll clear the lowest row, the row closest to where the uh, pills are dispensed of all viruses. It just so happened that there was only one virus in that row when I uh, used it, so I made, a, I made a bit of a gamer error there, but that's okay. Gamers are humans too. And I have 14 capsules left. I think that's a three stars, lady and gent. Pullman. Yeah, it is. We three star the whole first half of World of One, baby. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for watching um, this video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Leave me some comments. Leave me some rude comments if you want to. I don't know. But thank you for watching. Be sure to make your family subscribe. Everyone you know subscribe. Let's hit next and just take a little sneak preview at the second half of this world. Okay. Yes. I earned a reward. 500 points. Like I said, they're basically useless as far as I can tell. But this is what we do it for. The warm, fuzzy feelings in your heart of restoring all the toads, all the disenfranchised toads back to their homes. And the little, uh, little sneak peek into the next world, which requires an additional data download, which I'm not trying to do right now, so I'm going to quit recording. Peace, Sublime, out.